हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक बुलेटिन प्राइम आई एम रजनीकांत एंड टुडेस वीडियो विल गोना डिस्कस व्हाट इज गिट ऐड कमांड एंड व्हाट इट कैन डू सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इफ यू हैव नॉट सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब इट एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव ऑल द नोटिफिकेशंस सो लेट्स बिगिन so what git add command do right suppose you are in your working directory you are developing some program or application right so you want to save this thing to local repo right so whatever you have done the changes you want to store into that local repo right so first this whatever the changes are there in your working directory you need to promote these things to into staging area first right so whatever you have changed in your working directory or whatever you want to move to local repo first you need to promote those changes to staging area right so staging area is a checklist where you will see what are the changes you want to move to local repo right so that simple git add command can stage your changes to staging area means it will stage your changes from working directory to staging area right so let's see what are the commands are there so uh, you can stage a only single file or a complete directory or if you want to add all the files in that one directory so git add dot git add hyphen hyphen all right so we'll see what is the difference between git add dot and git add hyphen hyphen all okay let me move to uh, one project folder so here you can see it's a git demo folder uh let me go to git bash so already i have explained git status what it will do so what are the changes or any changes are there means it will show git status hyphen u so you can see nothing is there nothing to commit working tree is clean right so let me change something let me open this file let me copy this uh, this message and again i am pasting it here okay control s so let's to this one now if i'll see git bash git status it is showing one modified file is there git demo dot java right so let me add one more file one text file sample let me write something here Sample git demo control s now let's see git status git status so you can see one is modified file and another is untracked file sample.txt newly added right so whether it's modified or newly added if you want to commit those things or saving those things into local repo you need to stage both of them so how we can stage git add that particular file name suppose sample s a m p l e dot t x t so it's got added right so let's see git status just see now it is showing in green color right new file sample.txt but this file git demo.java it's not yet staged why because we have added only a particular file right so this is a way if you want to add some particular file then you can add directly with this file name suppose uh, that file is in some directory means you need to provide that path to that file so this is one 
so let me add this one also git add git demo dot java right so it's also added let me check by git status cat us just see one is modified file modified file another is new file now so now it's got staged so staged means now it's ready to save into local repo so if you put git commit this these things will be stored in your local repo with a commit but uh, the commit command a uh, depth i will explain later in this video will not cover that one okay so one more command is there git reset so it will reset everything i mean the staging file i mean those staged file again will go back to working directory git reset right git start again i am putting git status to check just check there is no green color here so you can see within red color modified and sample.txt so whatever those files or directories you promoted to staging area again those things are reverted to your working directory right so this command we have covered git add with a particular file so now let's see how you can add a directory suppose let me create one folder demo and in the demo folder i am putting some file let me create one file demo demo okay control s so so suppose now we'll uh, go to git pass you can check git status so just see here it's showing one modified file git demo dot java and two untracked files one is sample dot txt and one another is one demo folder right suppose you want to add this demo folder to staging so how we can do git add demo git add demo let's hit enter so it's added so here we are adding only this demo folder but not git demo dot java and sample dot txt right so you can you will see only the demo folder and all the files will be staged but git demo dot java and sample dot txt will not be staged let's type git status so here you can see the new file is added with the green color so it's got staged demo dot txt but rest of the things it's not staged right means here we are providing that command just add this folder to staging area right so this will add that folder to staging area so we have covered two commands one is git add with a particular file and another is git add with particular directory right so now let's see how we can add everything so let me clear this one sorry let me let me reset everything so that uh, that's that, that uh, staged file will go back to working directory i mean we will unstage those files so let me git reset this reset command is there i mean we will go by depth but as, as of now just remember git reset will unstage your files and directories git reset again we'll say git start us here you can see all the all are in red color so nothing is staged yet right so now we'll discuss what is git add dot right so suppose uh, you are in the fresh project and you have initialized your project with git so you have a lot of files and folders are there so you want to stays everything at one shot right you want to stays everything at one shot so how we can do there are two ways are there two things are there git add 
space dot and one more git add hyphen hyphen all so bit difference is there both of them and some similarities also there so git add space dot and git add hyphen hyphen all will add everything every files and folders to the staging area right so git so what is the di basic difference so basic difference i will tell you here suppose you have one folder you have one folder sorry you have one folder okay so inside that one more folder is there right so inside that one more folder is there right so suppose you are in so let me put some folder name otherwise it, it will be confusing folder a folder b this is folder c right so suppose you open that git bash from root folder i mean folder a right suppose if you uh, consider this example so root folder is git demo right inside that one inside that one demo folder is there right so suppose you are opening the git bash from root folder so here means you are opening that git bash uh, sorry git bash from a folder root folder right so if you are opening from root folder git bash here and git add dot so if you are opening from root folder then git add and git add hyphen hyphen all all both are equivalent same so it will add all that all those files from a folder from b folder and from c folder right so if you are opening a git bash from root folder then it will if you are uh, typing both the command either git add dot or git add hyphen all then it will add every files from a from b and from c constraint is you are opening that git bash from folder a or root folder right but for example you are opening this from you are opening the git bash from folder c and you are typing git add dot right so that time it will add files from only folder 3 so it will add files from folder c not from b and not from a right so if you put so if you open the git bash from folder c and type the command git add dot so that time it will add all the file from folder c but not from folder b or not from folder a but if you are typing the command git add hyphen hyphen all from folder c then it will add everything from c folder from b folder and from a folder right so this is the basic difference so hope you got the difference uh, between git add dot and git, git add hyphen hyphen all so let's check here so let me open now okay sorry uh, let me see what are that untracked files git starter sorry git So you can see git demo and demo folder sample.txt right so let me run so i am in the demo uh, demo folder so git demo is the root folder inside that demo folder is there so let me open here git bash let's put let's put git add 
dot let's see what is the outcome so add it let me hit git start us so you can see only demo.txt got staged so this demo.txt inside the demo folder but the rest of the files in the git demo the root directory is not added git demo sample those two files are not added right so let me open here okay let me again reset that one to see git uh, git add all sorry clear git add okay let me reset git reset right let's take git start us so just see nothing is staged yet right so let me put git add all hyphen hyphen all let me check so just see so this 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 bash we are opening from demo folder right one subfolder but still it's able to add everything right so it's able to add if you consider here so it, it will be able to add from c folder from b folder and from a folder as well so git add hyphen hyphen all will add the everything from all the cascading folders but git add dot it will add the files and folders from particular directory only so in what directory you are from that particular directory it will add suppose you are in a folder and you are putting git odd sorry git add dot means it will add from folder a from folder b and from folder c suppose you are in folder b and you are hitting git add dot then it will add the files and folders from folder b and from folder c as well but not from folder a so hope you got clear this this entire thing so that's all we have covered that entire git add command git add with file name git add with directory and git add dot and git add hyphen all right so if this video is helpful to you please do subscribe and share this video thank you